Good morning. It has been a windy night and it's going to be windy again today. In fact, we gained new garbage cans. Somebody several doors up the street didn't take their garbage cans in and uh, I heard those blowing down the street about three this morning. So kind of crazy. Last night I was coming home from my pet sitting and my road was closed because a tree had blown over. The tree was blocking the entire southbound lane and some guy in a Tesla, instead of slowing down, thought he could avoid the tree, go into oncoming traffic, and trying to thread the needle, he ended up sideswiping three vehicles, spinning sideways and crashing his car into the mountain. So I was probably like, the fifth or sixth car to pull up alongside at, you know, just after this had happened people were trying to get out of the cars that airbags had deployed <laughs> thankfully nobody was hurt but people were so impatient like the road is blocked there's nowhere you can go and yet still people were trying to take the car and push through the crowd it's like now you got to turn around it is a busy day. I'm happy. One of my clients who I've been pet sitting for the last two weeks, two weeks, has, they are on a plane and they are gonna be home today. So this will be my last morning taking care of them. So I don't have to be up racing to get over there for the next couple of, <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. I've been so tired and then the, clock change. I know I complain about it every day, but hey, let's not complain. It's beautiful. It's chilly. The sun is out. It's windy. Let's get some stuff done. Let's go. So this is Bonnie. She is an old miniature Aussie. I don't get to walk her that often. Huh. Every now and again though, when her owners have to work downtown or something, I'll get a call. Huh. She's really old, but what I really like about her, she's so calm. Such a good girl, huh? You know, it's rare. It's kind of a little bit of an older dog, a little bit of a overweight, huh? a little bit of a chunky girl. But you're such a good girl. I love just kind of calm, good dogs. My favorite. So, we don't walk very far. No. So, before we start our walk, I always kind of sit here by the water. She used to jump up on the chair behind us. That was always her favorite, but is that a little too much to jump up? So we just sit here on the deck for a few minutes. And then she lets me know when she's ready to start her walk. Are we ready to start walking? The best dog, huh? And I'm out of water. Yeah. Oh, 24. Well, 25 if you count Gatsby because I walk him twice, but that's how many dogs I walk today. Oh man, my back is sore, my feet are sore. I'm exhausted, but I feel good. You know, the money is going to go into savings because there's a different type of business my wife and I would like to do and 
it's, you know, we got to save up for this. So this is the one thing later in life, if I survive all this, I'll look back on and go, yeah, that was hard, but I got through it. It wasn't so bad. You know, there are no shortcuts in life. There, winning the lottery is not a strategy or hoping to win the lottery, shall I say. I don't even play the lottery. But I feel good at the end of the day. Sometimes you get a little frustrated, like it feels like I'm just running in quicksand. But, you know, to stay ahead of everything, as long as our dumbass politicians don't totally destroy the dollar, though they're trying. Seven trillion dollar budget, but ass hats. <laughs> there you go. All I can do is just control what's in my domain. And, you know, sitting on a curb with your hand out is not an option. So, I'm, I'm glad. I'm thankful for everything and it's good. So on that note of gratitude, I'm going to tell you I'm grateful for you guys watching, all my 1K DJ subscribers, hitting that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much. Oh, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.